Greetings, Denton First Cumberland Presbyterian Church. Thanks for logging in today. Um, appreciate y'all so much, friends, family, loved ones. We're happy to have you this morning. This is Wednesday in the Word. I am Reverend Dusty Luthy, and um, I've been doing this every Wednesday just as a way for us to um, bridge Sundays and to connect with each other. Um, today, I'm back in the sanctuary. So glad to report that we have running water on our campus. Um, after a pipe burst during Snowmageddon, several people worked, several different organizations came and helped us get water back. We give thanks to um, elders Jay Thomas, especially for heading the project. I know Dean Patterson was here, um, especially yesterday, making sure things went well. So we definitely give thanks that, man, we're ready to rock and roll. And we were so blessed um, and fortunate during Snowmageddon. Um, I am sitting in a place today where you will never, ever see me again. <laughs> I am sitting at our grand piano in the sanctuary. This is normally where Paula Robinson sits on a Sunday. And to prove I'm sitting here, I'll make some music, some bad music. Um, I am not a musician. That is not my spiritual gift. I love music. Um, I can sing soprano a little bit, so I'm not a bad person to put in the back of a choir, um, but you won't ever see me singing solos. They um, give me stage fright, and again, just not my gift. Um, but on Sunday, I was blown away, blown away by music. Um, we had special music, and it was Paula Robinson and Kathy McIntyre, our wonderful choir director um, and kind of chief musician. She's my right-hand woman, so glad to have her here. And together they sat side by side at this piano and they played a very familiar song, um, Nearer My God to Thee. And so I'm sitting there in my little, um, my little pulpit chair and, um, you know, just listening along, um, it, honestly trying to kind of, you know, get in the zone for the upcoming sermon because that's what comes next is scripture reading and sermon time. And so I'm sitting there and I'm listening to it play. And then it kind of takes a different beat. Um, maybe you can hear it here. And then it drops a completely new beat. And I sit straight up in my chair over there, and I, my jaw might have dropped. I mean, listen, listen to this, listen to this. music I think can do for us. Um, Ecclesiastes talks about how there is a season for everything and it says there's a season to be um, a time to be silent and a time to speak and I think um, along that same line is there's a time to sing and in Lent sometimes maybe we get caught up in trying to be somber as we're um, reflecting on our sin or our mortality and how to get closer to God um, but also there's a place for music and so here's the scripture um, from Psalm 40, and I'm just going to read verses 1 through 3 because I thought it was kind of um, perfect for the season that we're in. So hear the word of the Lord today from Psalm chapter 40, verses 1 through 3. I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me and heard my cry. He drew me up from the pit of destruction out of the miry bog and set my feet upon a rock, making my steps secure. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. This is the word of the Lord today. For the people of God, thanks be to God. 
And I love how it talks about the pit of destruction, um, the miry bog, and what God um, does through Jesus, right? That's how we were um, in our sins, how, how all of the world was before Jesus. We were stuck um, in the pit of destruction. Um, we cried out to God, and God heard us and put into the world a new song. And that new song is Jesus Christ. And that's who we celebrate this Easter season. And that's who our entire faith rolls around is this newness, this new thing. And just like I heard um, that beautiful song, the old song in a new way, I think Christ comes to us to give us something new, new life, new birth, renewal. Um, that's, that's what we celebrate is good news um, and that something is new. And so today is closing, um, kind of funny, but right about Snowmageddon time, Paula and I had gotten together, um, hopefully to put together a virtual Ash Wednesday service. And so we had recorded some music and, but because I didn't have power, I wasn't able to edit this beautiful service and it didn't feel right anyway. Um, but one of the songs we were going to play for Ash Wednesday was Nearer My God to Thee. And... So I put it together as a reflection for us, and it's just very brief as we close out um, today. But I did want to read to you the lyrics. Um, they may be in your heart already. You may have them memorized. And maybe this is the first time you've ever heard um, this song. But especially the first verse, again, I think is just so poignant um, for Lent. Again, as we give our hearts to God and we take everything that distracts us from God and we lay it aside, we evaluate it, we lay it aside, um, and we point ourselves back to God. So listen to this first verse. Nearer, my God, to thee, nearer to thee, even though it be a cross that raiseth me, still all my song shall be nearer, my God, to thee, Nearer, my God, to thee, nearer to thee. And so I give thanks that we can grow nearer to God, um, not just through the season of Lent, but at any time that God calls us. Um, so for our closing prayer today, um, I'm going to invite you to um, listen to this beautiful song played um, by Paula Robinson for us. Thank you.